The Storm Coaster up here at the Gold Coast uh, was developed by a, a company by the name of MacRides over in Germany. Uh, and of course we had to comply with all the, uh, the safety requirements that, uh, that are expected from uh, not only a standard perspective but from uh, Australian regulation as well. So our role was to ensure that all the certification was in place um, uh, and all the requirements were met as, as expected. On this particular ride we've got something like 120 different components being used, not only at an automation level but at a control level as well, so it's, it's quite extensive. What we're doing is ensuring that, that the compliance is met by using fail-safe technologies. So we're using a fail-safe PLC, for example, along with various components on a sensor-type uh, level, as well as drives that are also fail-safe. We combine all that together and we come up with a system that is compliant and fail-safe. The idea of fail-safe is pretty much as the name suggests, that if a failure does take place, then everything shuts down in a, in a safe manner. Being able to, to integrate safety and standard technologies together at a design phase, rather than thinking of safety as an afterthought, perhaps an add-on technology, huge advantages, you know, not, not only from a commercial perspective, but, but from, from ease of utilisation as well. It doesn't matter whether we're talking about factory automation, um, uh, mining, amusement parks, you know, safety is paramount. From bottling lines through to unmanned um, uh, cars in, uh, in underground mines, right through to the theme parks as well.